It's the 22nd of May last year, and these are some of the last pictures of Fusilier Lee Rigby. On his way to Woolwich Barracks in East London, he crosses the road. A car is deliberately driven at him. We've stopped the film before he's knocked down. Afterwards, he was hacked to death in the street, and Michael Adebolajo, one of the killers, boasted to passers-by. Now, he and the other murderer, Michael Adebowale, are serving life sentences. Today's report reveals Adebowale had a conversation on an internet service, believed to be Facebook, about what would happen to Lee Rigby. The security services didn't know. Today, the Prime Minister said companies had to do more to share this information. Crucially, we expect the internet companies to do all they can too. Their networks are being used to plot murder and mayhem. It is their social responsibility to act on this, and we expect them to live up to that responsibility. The report also says the two men appeared in seven different security agency investigations, and there were errors in all of them. It says the agencies did not give Adebelajo sufficient priority after he tried to join a terror group in Kenya, and that so-called intrusive surveillance of Adebelajo was stopped in April 2013, a month before the killing. However, it still concludes the agencies were not in a position to prevent the murder of Fusilier Rigby. But shouldn't the intelligence agencies have taken more notice of these two men? Um, haven't you at the very least been generous to the security agencies to say that they could have done nothing to prevent this murder? For only if there is evidence of attack planning, does that distinguish uh, the individuals concerned from the thousands of people whom, as I mentioned in my statement, uh, the agencies are investigating at any one moment? The report also rejects claims that Adebolajo had been harassed by the security agencies, but one organisation that he contacted says the committee never went looking for all the evidence. They didn't bother interviewing his lawyers when they didn't interview Cage, who had meetings with him about harassment from MI5, and they didn't bother talking to his family, who came to Cage with these concerns. Lee Rigby was the victim of a terrorist attack which got past the security services. The hope is lessons learned this time will stop there being and next time.